Hi everybody, thank you for watching Real Attitude Fishing. My name is Paul. Got a box in the mail today that I'm really excited about. It's from Garmin. Let's see what's inside. All right, let's see what's in here. It's actually something I've been paying attention to and saving up for for quite a while. Looked at it last last fishing season, back last March or or so, but it, they didn't have the product that I actually wanted. But uh, now they did, so I'll show you what it is. Hopefully, it's in here. bubble wrap out of here. All right. All right. So this is what we got here. It's the Garmin Acomap Chirp 73 CV. As you can see there. Nice close look. This is awesome. I wanted it for my kayak and for Works good for ice fishing as well. Let's see what's inside. Has built in maps for all the lakes around me, which is awesome. Um, has contours, shows all the contour lines. Pretty much every lake that Sun and I fish, it's on this already built in with the unit that I got. So, the book, or one book, a bunch of accessories and mounts it looks like, which I'm gonna need. Hopefully I can mount it in the bag that we have for my old one. Hopefully we can mount it in there and it has all the parts for that, that'd be awesome. Power cables, mouse, this does not have the side view. I didn't get the unit with the side view, not really. I know how good it is, I know it's awesome, but it's not really what I wanted to pay the extra money for right now. Um, I, mostly use, I mostly use my uh, fish finders for jigging, so. The side view would help, but I'm more interested in the straight down, nice clear views. Comes with a transducer, very big transducer. But I, uh, I bought the extra transducer that I would use the most. So it's the clear view. Oops the clear view uh, transducer comes with a transom motor mount or a tro trolling motor mount comes with the trolling motor mount which is cool I won't use that but somebody else will sure some zip ties what else we got here uh, the mount for holding the unit big. Not sure if that'll fit in my old bag, but we can work something out there. All right. Now we're down to the unit here. Actually, before we get to the unit, the other thing I got the ice fishing transducer. You can also use it for regular, uh, not ice fishing. You can also use it for not ice fishing. It's basically just built better for jigging, more of a, uh, not as much as a wide angled cone on your sonar signal there. Can't remember what the degrees is on this one. Might be somewhere between 10 and 15 degrees. 
I'd have to look that up, but the regular ones have like a 40 degree to 45 degree span of the sonar. All right. Unit comes with a nice cover. That's pretty cool. So that, you, I'm used to plugging the wires right into the back of it, but you don't really have to do that anymore. With that, by the looks of it, with this mount, everything's on the back of that mount, and uh, that part right there plugs right into the unit. Pretty sweet. All right, well, there's your unboxing. Not much to it. I'll uh, see if I can get some power to this. And if I can, I'll, I'll uh, show up a demo. So they usually have some demo screens on here. So let's get it set up. Got these knobs, tighten it up, put it at your different angles. It's kind of cool. All right. It's like this just snaps on here. Easy. Easy enough. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get some power to this. Uh, Just plugs into the back, the power cord, winds on. I just gotta find something to get these wires hooked up to. All right. Got some power hooked up to it from my old unit. Get that out of the way a little bit. I have to move the camera so you guys can see the screen. I think I saw a quick start guide in here, maybe it'll help me find some stuff. Okay, so it just popped up to the screen here. Gonna select English. Choose OK to quickly set up the basic functions of your chart powder for the first time. Anything you set up now can be changed or refined later by selecting settings from the home page. All right. Position format. I'm just going to quickly select next and, and go through this. Power boat. Safe. Uh, for my boat would be three feet because I'm in a kayak, so that's more than enough safe. <laughs> Minimum overhead clearance. Doesn't really matter. I'll pick fifty I'll pick thirty-five. If I ever buy a boat, I'll have to remember to go in and actually set these for more accuracy. Five hundred feet sounds good. Collision alarm time to three minutes, sure. All right. There's a few settings: charts, sonar, frequently used, combinations, gauges, user data, navigation info, info, navigation info, man overboard, customize home and settings. All right. Let me look in the guide real quick to see if I can get this into a, like a demo mode. So it just flips through the screens so you guys can see that. 
All right, so it says go to settings. I'll select settings, go to system. Then you come down here to simulator, select, turn it on. Some features in simulator mode depend on externally connected devices. So I may not be able to show you the ice fishing screen because um, maybe that um, ice fishing transducer actually has to be hooked up to get to that screen. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, simulator's on. Let's go back. Uh, combinations. Let's just pick the first one here. Navigation chart, traditional sonar, and clear view sonar. So let's see what's in there. All right, cool. So I think you guys can see that. Yeah, so it's got your traditional sonar in this view. It's got your traditional sonar screen, chirp screen, and then your uh, navigational chart maps. Um, I don't know if I got to figure out if my charts are actually on this machine or if I have to get a card. If you, or you know, it should have come with a card if it if I'm supposed to put a card in it. But it's this little door right here, little door here. This flips open. There's a little space in here where you slide in your um, your chart maps and whatnot. And it takes the blue charts or the lake view maps or whatever your whatever floats your boat there. Um, if mine are installed, then it's the lake view maps and it'll give me all the maps around here. Um, well, I think it's all around the US, but <clears throat> it'll give me all the maps around here that for the lakes that we go to. So that's gonna be super convenient. Showing the contours. Um, that's going to help a ton. Uh, let's see if there's any more settings in here. You can also do your gauges, autopilot. That's pretty sweet stuff in here. Uh, charts. Let's see what's in charts. Navigation chart. Oh, it's in demo mode, so it's probably not going to do what I expect it to do, but yeah. So you can see your your whole view would be of your for your charts if you don't split it. Let's go back, back again. Sonar options. Oh, it does have the flasher. Sweet. All right. Well, let's look at the traditional first. Here's your traditional sonar. This is color. My old unit is um, black and white, so it'll be nice to see the differentiations in, in whatever's below us. See the differentiations between the fish and the plants and the trees and the logs and yeah. Hoping this will help us quite a bit. We can do the clear view, full screen clear view. That's your chirp so for more definition better clarity um, we can do a split traditional and clear view it's pretty sweet let's go back again split view I think this is so that you can um, oh, over here it's got an auto zoom chirp and over here is your regular chirp so um, this one's gonna move up and down as your uh, contour, as your contours change, this one's going to stay in place. I hope the clarity is like that because that looks pretty amazing. Let's go back. Split frequency. Oops, I hit back. All right, sonar split frequency. That's going to have your two. Uh, if you have a, a transducer that has dual frequency. Then you can set up for one frequency on one side and a different frequency on the other. Uh, flasher, this is going to be awesome for ice fishing for us. And I'm also going to probably use this um, in my kayak as well because I, I really like the flasher. To be able to use that all year round is going to be pretty awesome. Um, so select. There's your typical flasher for ice fishing. That's going to be awesome. 
Screen also shows the depth, your water temp, time of day, device voltage. That's that's a lot of good information there. And then this is your typical flasher with the ground and fish in between and or or the top and the fish in between and the ground and yeah. I could probably show you more of that once we get it on the ice. We might be able to get out there maybe two times before the ice is melted. Um, we'll see. It, our season's coming to the end here. It's We're still freezing at night, but it's very warm during the day, 40s, almost 50. All right. Let's see here. Data graphs. I don't know what that is. Water temp and depth. So that'll be your water temp and depth over time. That's cool. Sonar recordings. Oops, I hit back again. Got to get used to these buttons. I guess you can record your sonars. What you've pinged. All right, there's a lot of settings in here. Um, gauges. You can see all your numbers that are that are being input into the device from your gauges um, on your sailboat or boat. If you're fancy enough to have all that stuff, that's that'll be some really cool information. Compass, that's awesome. A lot of information in there. Engine details. This is an, an awesome unit. Wind, I don't know what that's. That's probably coming from details for if you have a, a wind device on top of your boat or sailboat. Environment, that looks like all the detail. Ooh, sunset, sunrise, that's cool. Air temp. So if you have the devices on your boat to, to read all that information into this device, that's, that'd be awesome. I don't know what user data. Oh, this is your waypoints, your tracks, your routes. You can add waypoints. Awesome tracks. I'm sure you can do this from the from the map screen as well. Media. So if you can hook up your devices, I don't know. iPod and whatnot. Man overboard. What's that do? Guess that's if a person falls overboard. You can mark them. Navigate to this man overboard or. This is where other people have said there's man overboard and you can navigate to it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Autopilot. That's your autopilot information. That's cool. Panopic. Panoptics. Panoptics. Not sure what that is. Hmm. That might be if you have a really fancy transducer. That's going to give you live view, real view, 3D. Yeah. All right. Let's go back. Mine doesn't give me all that information. So, But if yours does, it's got it built in there. All right. So, yeah. That looks about it for the device. Um, I'm going to try and get this set up. Read through the manuals and see... Uh, how to actually hook up these wires other than throwing them on my battery there I got two extra wires that I don't know what they're doing but they're just hanging off so uh, I gotta read the book figure that out um, get our, my ice transducer figured out and uh, yeah that's about it I hope you enjoyed the video this seems like a really good unit um, so far I like it obviously it's just in demo mode not trying it for real but um, yeah, I'd say it's a good buy. I'll tell you how much I spent on it. It is not a cheap device. Um, oh, I should give you the transducer number too. So that if you want to buy this exact same transducer. This is the GT10 HNIF. Um, the tan is the, is the sonar width. So that's 10 degrees. GT10. 10 HN dash IF ice fishing. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. I'll get the prices. 
Okay, so the uh, Echo Map Chirp 73 CV. Um, this unit is five hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And the uh, Ice Fishing Transducer. That's another hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That's the prices on Garmin. Um, you can find it cheaper on Amazon, and I'll post links to that in the description. And um, it's not much cheaper, but a little bit. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Um, this seems like an awesome unit. I can't wait to, wait to get it out on the ice and then on the uh, on the lakes this season. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. See you next time.